Lee Marie. Yo, 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 we coming live. It's DJ Lee, baby. Shout out to T Marie, all the way from Philly. Hey, Psycho. It's good, yo. So listen, let them know where they can find you, what's your name, where you from exactly, um, what it is that you do. Well, I'm official team Marie. Um, I'm from Philly. Right. I'm currently a radio board out working here in Manhattan. So the grind is real, the hustle is real, starving artists, all that cool stuff. I don't look at it as starving, I look at it as chasing my dream. Mm -hmm. Um been doing music for over 10 years. I've been performing for a little bit over 10 years. Um, I'm just an all-around musician, all-around creator. I love art. I love um, being inspired by people. I love learning different things and being able to find creative ways to put it in my music. So, so what made you first start making music? Um, just not being the best at expressing myself. Okay. I'm still not like at all. But but you found this music that helped you. Exactly, uh, and I'm I'm. Nobody can tell you. You walk in a room full of adults, um, and you say the wrong thing. You're corrected. Nobody can correct Nobody you about your art, about your how you express yourself, or how you put your words together to express a particular feeling. Nobody can correct you on that. So that's that was um, that was my safe my safe place. My, my safe place. Who would you say reminds you of yourself that's already in the music industry? Um. I find a lot of inspiration. I'm a, I'm a, just so it's like different levels. Like you got me being being a, uh, being a musician. You have me being um, just a young woman. You got me being a young woman in my career. So many different levels. But just me being a young black woman, young black artist. One of my like biggest inspirations would have to be um, Tiana Tiana Teller. Mm -hmm. um, just cause she helped. Um, she played a huge role in me being comfortable with just who I am, being not being a typical girl. I'm not a, I'm not a typical girl. I don't talk like the typical girl, and that's cool. Like you know what I mean? Like it's cool to be you. It's cool to be weird. It's cool to be a little tomboyish, whatever the case is. And I find comfort in just knowing that this nigga gonna love me. No, um, she she's definitely a huge um, inspiration, and she had a, like. Even though she grew up in the industry, she had it way harder than a lot of other people. And if you haven't been following her journey from day one, you'll you never understand. Know. So, um, just to see her be able to flourish and literally get everything that she deserves is very, very inspiring for me. I love her. That's big sis. She don't know. Hey, girl. Kind of look like look. My fault. You like Tiana Taylor just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Tiana Taylor. Yo, um, I was in Philly a few weeks ago, right? Right, right. Yo, listen, that bus ride was hectic. Don't ever tell me come to <laughs> Philly again unless I'm driving. Um, but I heard you perform. Right. You was at the what the Philadelphia Convention Center, is it called? Absolutely. Well, what and did I, you think about the performance? Listen, I mean, besides the speaker, you know what I'm saying? The speaker problem. It's always a very yeah, it's always some type of technicality, but but just the event, listen, the overall the vibe the event, was amazing. The vibe, First yeah. of all, Allen Iverson pulled up in the building. Shout out to Allen Iverson. I seen uh, DJ Greg Nitty was in the building, O one oh three nine out there, you know what I'm saying? Dior, everybody out there. But listen, your performance, I never heard you spit live until that night, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, wow, this is crazy, bro. It's like a female, like it's ain't Cardi B, it's T Marie, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is lit. <laughs> you feel me? Like, so I, I bang with it. It's, it's it's hard to impress me, you feel me? Anybody will tell you that. So I banged with it. How do you feel about it? Um that was my first, I'm not going to say my first major performance, um, but in the city, yeah, I'm lying. Since I've been back home from, from school, that was my first major performance um, in the city. And that was big for me. That was major for me. Um, it was great vibes. It was a great environment. There was a lot going on. I had you rocking with me. So for you to be there, like, and this being like my first little major event, we had to go and it was love. It was, it was love. I got to network a little bit, which I'm still learning how to do. Like, I don't really like. But, um. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's like, you, you got to catch me on the right day. Right. But, um. Overall, I, 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 I like, I live for stuff like that, yo. I be so alive. I be like, I know you seen me. I was just all over yeah, the place. I was like a little lit. rabbit. Like, oh. I just be, like, it excites me. You look, you look, you look like you were having fun. You know what I'm saying? At this point in your life, that's, what more can you ask for? But being that you're from Philly, though, right. and now you're in New York City right now, right. what's the biggest difference, would you say, in hip-hop 
Um, that's so hard because my personal opinion, Philly, Philly in New York, we got the best spreaders. We neck and neck with talent. We neck and neck with with our hustle. We neck and neck with a lot of things. Um, what I was just saying to you though is, you you can see the difference between like artists that are able to go mainstream from New York and then artists that are able to go mainstream from Philly. Right now, you know, you got you got P and B, you got Core, you got Meek, you got Uzi. Mm -hmm. You got people that's like, you know, that's they like They all hating right now. Yeah. They, 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 you know what I mean? But they up there. When you look in New York, the list goes wrong. Davies. Everybody Nike, everybody's making a boogie. Music. Like everybody. You gotta, everybody you gotta be real, you gotta you gotta be unique out here actually. That's probably I'll say my biggest thing. If you're not unique, if you don't have something different to bring to the table, it's hard to get noticed out here. That being said, yo, it's DJ Lee, baby. We out of here, man. Shout out to T Marie. She came out here and did her thing. Regular. Let them know one more time where they can find you. You can find me on the gram, official T Marie. YouTube. I have a few upcoming projects. Everything is official T Marie. On all, all across the board except for Twitter. For Twitter, it's underscore official T Marie. Um, I got a project coming very soon. DJ Lee, hopefully, is going to have huge parts in that project. Um, I'm going to be around. You know, get with me. That's it, yo. We out of here, it's a wrap.